Welcome to Draw with Ed Veer. Today we are drawing this monkey from my book, Banana. You will need paper and something to draw with. Okay, so when drawing a monkey having an epic tantrum, we start here. Draw a little line like this. We'll see in a moment what that is. Then we take a line Curve it over here, like this. Bring it down to about here. And I normally start with the eyes. But we're starting with a bit of the shape of the head. And because he's having a big tantrum, we are going to draw closed eyes. And that looks a bit like two arrows. Here's the second one. If it doesn't seem to make sense, it will. Now, let's give him one, two nostrils, and we are going to draw a big mouth, wide open, and very unhappy, because he hasn't yet worked out what the magic word is. I wonder if any of you at home, do you know what the magic word is? I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do, but do you use it? Okay, another ear. And we draw a line like this. Now, because he's having a tantrum, this is all going to be sort of zigzaggy, jangly shapes. So this is his body and it's going to seem quite strange for a while. So that's actually the body and a bit of a t-shirt. Let's draw an arm that will come up like this. And because it's all spiky, we're going to draw lots of sharp, spiky angles. And that goes like this. And there's a, there's a hand. And let's draw leg going up like this. I'm going quite fast but if you want you can pause the video at any time and then you can catch up. So look, do you see the foot goes behind the arm like that and let's have another leg coming out like this. This foot like this. Now then, I think we need. What should we do? Should we do another arm? Let's do another arm. That requires a line like this, then one like this. And a line going up here, up here, then something like this down to about here. Let's do some motion marks. Makes it look like he's moving around a bit more. And uh, I think we need, okay, I think we need a tail. So that is going to be some lovely zigzagging like this. Do 
Do you ever have tantrums like this? I wonder. If you do, what do you have them about? What infuriates you? Are there things that make you really unhappy? I think it happens to all of us from time to time. And I'm sure we do our best not to. What do your parents say? Do they have tantrums? So we draw this zigzag, another line just to make that tail a bit fuller, like this. And end of his tail right there. Like that. Now He's wearing a t-shirt, so I'm going to give him little sleeves, and I'm going to colour it. You can colour in any colour you want. I'm going to colour in him in like this, for the fur. Same on his legs. Like that. And his feet. and the same on his tail. Don't forget you can pause the video at any time. Draw. Just getting the ink moving there. I'm going to draw a shadow so you can see him leaping off the ground. Do you think he's going to work out what the magic word is? I wonder. Now, he is wearing a t shirt, so let's give that t shirt some red stripes. Red is a good colour to use if someone's feeling angry. There we go. And there is a word he's going to be yelling out. And I guarantee it's not the magic one. It starts with a B. an A and another B then no and an N and another A can you work out what this word is and another N like that and then finally a big A I feel his voice getting louder and louder and a huge exclamation. Now, if you want, you can colour in the background lots of lovely colours, make it as colourful as possible and that sort of will give some exuberance to the scene. And I am going to, just here, I'm going to write my name. your name too if you like and that is how you draw a monkey having a tantrum how did you get on i'd love to see your drawings share them with me using the hashtag draw with edvir find all my videos at edvir.com and you can find videos by some brilliant authors and illustrators at booktrust.org.uk forward slash home time i look forward to seeing you next time